Do you have problems with your internet where it disconnects all the time or it's really slow and it's just not that good where you are? Maybe you live somewhere rural or even you're traveling around a lot and you just need internet connectivity. Well, that's where this comes in. You just slap in a SIM card and you've got 4G and it's basically a router as well. So you can connect up your laptop, desktop, smart devices and so forth. On the front of the box, it says Strong, which is the manufacturer's name. It says 300 megabits per second. Bear in mind, that'll be when you're using it on router mode. So you're transferring data from two PCs and using this as a central router because 4G LTE only supports up to 150 megabits per second, which to be honest with you, is fast enough for doing everything you want to do. 4K movies, everything like that, downloading, uploading, and even gaming, depending on obviously where you are and location and so forth. It comes with two SIM card adapters. It's got two detachable antennas on there. As it says, Wi-Fi 300 megabits per second. And it's also got one Ethernet port. And it says it works on any operator SIM card. So you can be O2, Free Mobile, whoever else there is out there. You should be able to use it with them. On the back and the side of the boxes, you've got a diagram which shows you what all the ports are on there, what devices you can connect up to it. It's also got information on there about, obviously, general specifications, general data and environmental bits and bobs like that. Okay, so inside the box, you've got the actual router itself, which came in a one-use plastic bag, another one-use plastic bag that the power cable came in. You've got your two large antennas. You've got an Ethernet cable there as well. You've got your SIM adapters, you've got a micro and a nano adapter in there. Some barcodes for some reason, I'm not sure if they were supposed to be stuck on the product or the box, but you've got some there anyway. You've got safety instructions, EU bits and bobs, what no one's ever going to read, as well as a manual there, which the manual's pretty good to be honest with you because it's quite easy to understand and it's step-by-step -step guide rather than lots of writing on a page, what no one's ever going to read. So let's have a look at the device itself. So on the front, it's got the manufacturer's name. It's straightforward, to be honest with you. You've got a power icon there. That looks like it's basically telling you the Wi-Fi is on. You've also got two arrows up and down. That's obviously going to be sending and receiving, I'm presuming. And then you've got five bars there, which is going to tell you your signal strength, which should be pretty easy to understand. On the back of it, you've got where your antennas go. We'll show you how those fit in a minute, but it's just a case of screwing on. Your SIM card goes in this bit here. I know it looks really big. It looks like you could probably even fit batteries in there, but no, that's just for the SIM card. We'll open that up in a few minutes. You've got a USB connection here. You've got a WPS and Wi-Fi button, what you can use to sync devices. You've got an Ethernet connection, so you could plug it directly into a PC or laptop or whatever, whatever's using a LAN connection. Then you've got your power button here, which is, well, a button, and that's where your power cable goes in. The rest of it, pretty much straightforward, to be honest. A few ventilation holes on the bottom, one or two little ones at the top. And I'm guessing that's where those stickers are supposed to go, what were inside the box on the bottom there by the looks of it. Okay, so we're going to put it together exactly how the instruction says. So number one, you take this plate off the back of the unit. It just prizes out, pretty straightforward. You get your SIM card, you put it in the adapter, and then you use these sort of like rivets here and slide your SIM card in on the adapter. Bear in mind, I have found it can be a little bit fiddly to get it to line up right, even though it sort of does, but it doesn't, and it doesn't always fit. There we go, I think I've got it. So once it's pushed in, it should look hopefully like that. So the SIM card's all the way in there. Obviously, I'm just using the one out of my mobile phone, but otherwise you can obviously order your own and so forth, but it should just work with any on the market and any operator according to what it says. So once you've done that, you've got to put the plate on the back. There we go. So that's basically step one done. Now, step two is get your antennas, which are these things here and in basics, they just screw on here. So I'm just going to basically screw it on like that. You tighten it up with the little bit there on the end till it's all the way on, and then you can rotate the aerial how you want it, and then do the same for the other aerial. And again, just spin it, and it should just tighten up. There we go. Probably need to tighten that one up a little bit more. There we go, and then you can position your aerials how you want. And again, because these are adjustable aerials, depending on your signal, you can adjust them however you want. So you might find the work better at an angle. You may find better sticking straight up. One may go one way, one may go the other. 
So that's step one. So number step number three is a straightforward one. You get your power cable, obviously plug one end into a power socket. And whoop, making a mess here. And get the other end and plug it into that router. So you just plug it into the bit underneath the power button. And then you press the power button to turn it on. And hopefully the power should come on. Bear in mind, the power cable isn't very long. It's only 1.2 meters long, so 120 centimeters, which is a little short in my opinion. I would have preferred something around about at least one and a half to two meters long. Okay, so it seems to be connecting up and going through. And as you can see here, we've got a power light. It looks like the wireless light, the data transfer light. And it looks like we haven't got the best signal here, to be honest with you, but again, that will depend on the area. Oh, it's just shot up from two bars to three bars. But that is basically it set up. Now, step four, it says, obviously, wait for you to get that signal, and that means you're all go, which we've already spoke about. But my signal's not the best here. But again, I am in the center of a room with a lot of electronics around. You probably stick it in a window or whatever. You're going to get a better, obviously, reception. Now, step five is obviously get your smart device, whether it's a laptop, PC, phone, or whatever, and connect up to it. And to connect up to it, you just go on the back, and on there, you'll find the wireless information there. A bit like when you connect up to a router at home, or when you go out somewhere. So you basically click on the name of the device. So, for example, I'll go onto settings, go onto Wi-Fi, and then hopefully we'll find it here. Here we go, strong there running at 2.4 gigahertz so if i click on that one then it's going to ask for the password which to be honest with you the writing's that small it's hard to see what the password is so give me a second i'll put the password in and then we'll go to the next step okay so i put the password in and it's connected and that's it that's as simple as that your device is now connected up to this and it's working and using the data off of there obviously if you've got unlimited allowance you can use it as much as you want but bear in mind, if you're limited to using, let's say, 20 gigabit a month or gigabytes, then obviously you're going to be limited. And if you go over your limit, then you're going to be charged for extra for it. So but that, that's the basics of how to connect up to that. Now, if you wanted to, you can change the settings. To change the settings, what you do is go to your web browser on your device, whether it's your laptop, PC or so forth, and you type in the IP address, which is 192 dot one six eight dot zero dot one and press go and it should take you to what's called the user interface or the operating system of the actual router and then it'll let you go in there and change your settings so you can change your admin password and so forth the default admin username and password for this if you do wish to change any settings is admin admin so i would suggest you change those but there you go, that is pretty much it, you're connected. Obviously, if you do want to plug in a laptop or a PC or something along that lines, rather than using the wireless, you do have the option of the Ethernet cable, which you just plug in the back of the router. So here, okay. and then plug the other end, believe it or not, into your laptop or your PC, as long as it's got an Ethernet port. And it's as simple as that, so I can't see how much easier you can get Obviously, signal strength and stuff like that. It's got two big antennas, which is really good, but it's really down to your mobile network if it has got a good signal in your area. So it doesn't matter how good the device is. If your mobile operator does not have a service in your area, you're just not going to get one. It's simple as that. But you've got everything there you will need if you can get a service. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.